Hey, what's up guys? Paddy here, and today I'm bringing you this week's video on a wee bit of guitar. So, um, last night on the live stream, uh, I talked about my guitar having a broken string. So, what this video is, guys, is basically, I'm going to show you how to basically fix a guitar. So, I've ordered myself new strings. Um, I found four of these here. These are early balls. These are super slinky. These are super slinkies. The ones I have, I'm, uh, at the minute, I actually do use early balls at the minute, but at the minute, on my guitar, I have power balls. So I have power balls on my guitar at the minute. And so I'm gonna switch to super slinky as recommended by a friend of mine. Uh, big shout out to Darren. Uh, Darren, 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 uh, put me on the lease. He's, a, he's, a, he's another guitar player, but he's a lefty. And he does a lot of bending on the strings. He likes to bend the strings a bit and all, get that nice wee bend, bend the noise of the guitar. So he uses that, he uses these, so he's recommended me to use these. Um, so I'm going to use them and see what we go with them. So, first of all, let's just get these open here. So, the gods in these guys and these bad boys are, if I see here. So, the gauge on these is a 9, 11, 16, 24, 32, and 40, 30, uh, 32, and 42. Now, obviously, it will say on the front of the packet what they are. So, 42, uh, right down this, right down to the bottom one there, which is bottom E string, which is a 9. Which feels like there's literally nothing in, there's feel like there's nothing in that 9. But, but there is. And it feels like there's nothing out. And I, the thing is, a lot of people are big. Like, oh, uh, just replace the one string. I'm the type of person where I will place every single string in that because it will just offset the balance of the guitar. It will offset the balance on it, which I like. Which I don't. Which I which I like. I like my balance the way it is at the minute. So, um, okay, power down. Okay, ready. I'm really carve at them like, but uh, uh, so, one, two, four. Oh, oh, oh. I was getting them all. I always get them on all in order first, just so I know what size I'm going. So the cuff for these strings are actually electric guitar strings, they're voluntary or electric or acoustic. So let's bring the bad boy itself in the frame. So see guys, I've obviously remodeled it. I have strings on it. I want to look at you guys, it's just basically strings off. Now the way mine is I have ports in the back here and all I do is Push it out and then drop, and that's one string out. Now, the thing is, guys, you're going, no, you're going to need one, you're only going to need a nice. So, everybody's going to, so the thing is, string, guitar string, guys, guys, let me just fix the camera here because. So, the thing is with guitars, with guitars guys, um, especially when you get new strings, is uh, sometimes you might have to cut them. Uh, so I recommend using a pair of wire cutters. Pair of, uh, pair of wire cutters, because wire cutters will cut through it no problem. Um, wire cutters will cut through no problem. And, you know, when wire cutters cut through these, you know, they cut through them like, they, they cut, they cut them like, um, when wire cutters get they get a hold of these, like, they actually do cut, um, it's the brain like for it. Uh, or you could do, the other thing that I've actually used before is uh, a pair of, um, nail clippers. Apparently, nail clippers work, work to you like. Um, just what you have handy for you, uh, you can use to cut. Or some people actually what they do is they put the string in. See the way? 
we will put the string in and then they would uh, we will put the string in to the wood yeah we will put the string in and then just leave it like hanging up like I have here like a wee bit of excess because it looks cool especially if you're like a heavy rocker look nice but I don't I like mine I like mine to be nice and heavy sometimes nice and heavy so So what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the camera guys so you can see the actual guitar the way it is now. So, so as you can see guys, obviously excuse the mess of my trousers guys, I'm just uh, back and doing a bit of work in here. So I'm just, so you can see guys, there's no strings on this whatsoever at all now. Um, so if you want to take this time right now to give your fretboard a good clean, I recommend you do that. Um, give it a good clean, give it a good dust. Um, yeah, you know, a lot of people would give it a good dusting and a wee bit of nice wee wipe of the wash and then set and do it, clean it all up. Um, I'm not going to do that there, I'm going to skip all that. But if you were to use it a bit, some people use a bit of hot, hot soapy water, brings it right up, brings a nice wee clean onto it. I would, me myself personally, I would use uh, sugar soap. I would use uh, sugar soap, which is kind of like, uh, it'd be like, it would take like the gradient, it would like, Take it down to where I have it like that there, I'll show you. So like, your paint wears out. And it's kind of nice, I kind of like that when you nice effect where it's all nice and dark and then it gets really light down towards the end of the fretboard. It's kind of like, kind of like it like that. So, I'm going to start with the bottom E string here. So, so this is the bottom E string, as you can see guys, it's a very long string. Like, there's one end and there's the other. So, and it's very straight, so they are so that they're so easy to go in. So for mine, so if you have a guitar like mine, like the Les Paul design, um, you'll have your bridge here, and your input will be at the back like, like mine is. And you kind of want to line it up so your, so your bottom E string will go into the top bracket here when you turn it to yourself. And just, just nice and gently, feel free. And as soon as it comes through the other side there, as you can see there, hopefully, as you can see there, my, it's came through there. Every day, I and uh, I'm just going to pull it. And there you go, it's. Sorry about that, guys. And there you go, that's it up. Now, let me show you that there, how much far that is past the neck of the top of the guitar. That is way past it. You know, it's way past. So you need to cut it. So you need to cut it. And this is why I say if you have a pair of wire cutters, pair of wire cutters, snip and that's you. But before you snip it, always line it up, make sure it lines up. Make sure it lines up there with your nut. So I'll just show you here. So make sure it lines up there in the nut there in the nut gauge. So your gauges are always going to be set to a certain type of string. As you can see there, it sits, so as you see there guys, it sits nice and perfectly in there and then obviously you want to get set to the actual thing yourself, you always want to leave it a good bit up, so I always leave mine, so I'll cut mine about there, just past the, um, the third tuner, which would be your G string, so it would be where the G string will be going into. I always cut it a bit dark because then it gives me a good, a good, it gives me a good bit of play. Or sometimes I would even cut it up the top of the guitar. I would cut it there and cut a good bit off it there. It's so just so, it just so it gives me a good bit of play with the guitar, man. And but just for this here, I'm just gonna pop it on in and tune it on up. And I'm going to leave a good bit of access on this. Now, I'm, going to, I'm just going to pop them on for now and then I'll show you what you need to do in a minute here, guys. Okay, so when you're putting new strings on, guys, one thing I haven't said yet, which is a, more, which is a must. So you turn it up until you're really quick. Once you hit a wee quick, stop. Just stop, okay? 
and then what you want to do is you want to grab it and you want to pull it like a bow and you want to stretch it now this is obviously going to pull through the whole guitar string so obviously this is why I say you need to cut it because it will pull through so if you hold that nice and tight there and then sit and pull it and grab it goes here like a bow a couple of times, pull it again, and pull it again. Okay, and then that's that string, that's just, that's just that, that string ready to be tuned and go on. And very quickly here, I'm just going to grab something to cut that with. It's just to show you how to properly do it. So, I went and got myself, sorry, sorry, okay guys, so I went and got myself part of these. These are a pair of pliers which actually have a wire cutter bit on. So like I said before guys, I've put that in, I've stretched it, and now what I'm gonna do is guys put it past the neck of the guitar there. And uh, and then I'm gonna cut it up the top of the guitar there. Yeah, so that's how much I've cut off there guys. I've cut a wee, a wee bit off that. But as you can see guys, I still have that going up. So if I hold that guys, that's still going to go past the top of the neck of the guitar. So what I need to do guys, feel free. Let it just make a really nice sweet bend there. And then set and just tune it. So now that I've cut it guys, I'm going to just re-stretch it again to make sure that I've done it right. Okay. Now it's okay to stretch it. I know people are going to be like, oh, why are you re-stretching it? Because I like to make sure that I've done it right. And is there any, does it hurt, does it harm the string? No, it doesn't. It does not hurt the string one bit. It just, you're just basically, all you're doing is making it, basically getting used to it. Because the string is going to be stretched like mad when you're playing. Now, if you ever really see if you have a reliever, you can wind it. It's even better. A lot quicker. So a lot of people say you probably uh, left too much on it, but it's better leaving too much than too little and not, not, not enough uh, slack on it. Because I can tell you this now, I have remember cutting strings a bit too short or just enough to actually get the string actually to set into it. So now that I've got it sitting on now, as you can see there, it's nice and straight there, sitting on. 
Et oui, ok, je m'en garde. On go up. On go down again. Ok, et puis vous pouvez voir ça, c'est vraiment très bien et slack again. Je vais le tourner up une more time. Do the same again. And this time I'm gonna do it from I'm gonna do it on every single fret. Starting by down, down here, I'm gonna pull two, three, four, and then pull at every fret. There's one string in. I'm gonna say And the thing is guys, just repeat the exact same process for every single string. And just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna show you the top E string and how to do the big how to do this big thick string. Now the thickest string on a guitar is usually everybody says it's usually the easiest because you can see it. And you can see what you're doing. So take some guys again guys. Now, top of the heat will be on the other side now. Let's take a fret. Top. And then, see your wire colors, uh, whatever you're using. And um, same again, guys. Same again, guys. Hold it up. You got it. I'm going to cut this one. I always cut my top of the heat string a bit shorter. So they. I always call it about the third head there. This is about the third. It's just where your D would tick into. There you go. And that's how much I've cut off, guys, on that one there. Quickly, so as you see, I've got. I don't know, let's turn this up here, guys, in the playing position. So, as you can see, guys, I've got a wee twist there, and all my videos sit and hold it tight and just hold the string tight and just tune it up and keep going until, I, until there's no more slack on the, on the string, until there's no slack. Which will be a while because I like to keep them nice and long. Okay, you can see the feel I get tight there. So as you can see guys, as it's, as it's getting tighter, I'm moving my hand down a bit. Okay, and there's no slack in that, well, there's a wee bit of slack in that guys, but not too much. Because if I tune this any tighter guys, the string will break. The string will just break completely because you haven't uh, properly done it. So, same again as the bottom of string guys. What you want to do is grab it and just pull it, pull it like a bow, just stretch it right and just go up a few times. And if you feel, if you feel like, you, you feel like, oh, it doesn't feel like it's stretched enough, 
Do what I did. Just grab it again and pull it and work your way down it again. But don't pull too hard because you rub. Because if you pull too hard, guys, you can actually rip the string off and break the string that way. So just be careful. And that's you guys, and that's, and you just repeat that process for every single string, um, and that's what I'm going to sit and do now. And um, yeah, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video on the this video tutorial on how to uh, take old strings off and put new strings on. And I shall see you guys in the next one. Take it easy. And I will. Uh, so next time, so I'm gonna. So next time you play this guitar, guys, will be fully strained. I'll be playing it. So take it easy. There you go guys, one guitar, probably strength, and now all you need to do guys is if you want to guys you can cut off the access if you want, or you can do this, which is Plug in and tune up. This is the next step. Make sure your phone's right up, guys, before you tune. To get the best out, to get accurate tuning. Believe it or not, that actually does help.
you guys. That's you ready to sit and do you guys you're ready to rock and roll you're ready to go again and as always guys i'll see you on i'll see you guys in the next one peace